Yeah, so uh, for self-protection, the crafty, <laughs> Cappadocians, yeah, they rolled uh, big circular stones to block the entrances, like, you know, like big millstones. You couldn't drive a Mack truck through this and uh, uh, it just block out the world above, not just, you know, uh, uh, strategic passageways. Yeah, bur burrowed out underground villages and... Uh, yeah, one body wide, and that way the enemy couldn't employ a, you know, a team of soldiers working together to remove the gigantic boulders. I mean, the Afghans slaughtered the British in the same way, huh? Panic them into narrow gorges, just one, one soldier wide, and ah, okay. Uh, you got to, this is going to be hard on your imagination, so we'll make it brief. There's a, there's a, okay, from your, your uptight, you're an uptight uh, centurion or slippery Sardinian or a tuna fishinian that the best by date is past. And you see a blocking stone. Well, so you, you want to paw it away. You, you can only, it's only you. You got like 50 people behind you and they're glad they're behind you. But what the Cappadocians have done. And they don't know that. You don't know this, but they have dug a parallel little passageway right beside where you're pawing away at their blocking stone. You want to get them? And there's little slits. You wonder what those little slits were for. They th put a spear through them into you. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go back to easy stuff. So it's easy, easy to kill off a whole army one at a time. Attack to, uh, forced to attack in single file. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. This is frustrating to invaders. You know, they're out for a good time. I finally got out of Konya and those dervishes and all that. Frustrating. So, look, okay. Look at these casts of brimstone wine lying around here. We know what to do with it. Oh, some pack mules? Yeah, we'll, well, just uh, go through all the houses and just take anything we want. And it's not that valuable. So, uh, yeah, they're gone. You know. Let's get to the next Hans Carvin, sorry, please. And uh, the alleyway of the slut belly dancers. This is an old troupe. You'll be hearing about them all through the book. This is one of the original. Why did they shimmy their bellies? It was to attract your attention to their... Naval companion just below and below that the well so that way the Cappadocians they survive through the ages. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They just abandoned the tough fairy chimney scene. Go full dog Prairie Dog City. First sight of invaders. If they had to, they pop up. Grab a few casts of wine, keep the mood up underground. And once the enemies have moved on, and uh, yeah, and the Christians loved the Cappadocian scene too. I didn't say anything. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, road trip, road trip. Oh yeah, uh, during the um, the hookah break. On the Bolu Pass. Uh, thanks, explain it to Pasha. Hey, my father, Tutankhamun? Yeah. He's the ambassador. He's the Egyptian ambassador to Turkey. He's been, he's been at the post for 30 years. Erudite. Distinguished. He had been a moved up mufti if he'd been kind of straight. Um, that's why I oh, am 
I'm gifted a Rolls Royce. It's the diplomatic VIP car for the Egyptian embassy. And I'm his only child. Hmm. Dad, I need the car, kid. My girl's dying. Yes, my only enlightened child. We'll park it out in front of that Gulani Hippie Odell. <laughs>